Welcome, health enthusiasts. Today's video focuses on a simple yet significant aspect of your health, drinking water. We all know that hydration is vital to our health, but did you know that there's a right and wrong way to drink water? Yes, you heard it right. The way we drink water can have a substantial impact on our overall well-being. In this video, we'll be exploring four common mistakes people often make when drinking water. We'll be discussing why drinking water while standing isn't ideal, the downsides of gulping water quickly, the impact of drinking water just before meals, and the potential harm in adding artificial sweeteners to your water. Each of these points are backed by scientific research so you'll be getting the most accurate information out there. Stay tuned as we delve into the first common mistake many of us make while drinking water. But before we go any further, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. The first common mistake is drinking water while standing. Now this might sound a bit odd, right? We've all done it and it seems like such an innocuous habit. However, it turns out that this seemingly harmless act could actually be causing a bit of a ruckus inside your body. Let's delve into the science of it. When you're standing, the water you drink rushes down through your system, splashing onto your lower stomach wall. This might cause a bit of a shock to your digestive system, leading to a disturbance in the balance of fluids in the body. This is because the water is not being properly absorbed into the system, but rather, it's rushing through, causing potential dilution of the digestive juices, and leading to a less than optimal digestion process. Now this isn't just a theory, there's actually scientific evidence to back this up. A study published in the Journal of Applied Physiology, found that the act of standing while drinking water can lead to increased heart rate and decreased blood flow to the brain. This in turn can cause dizziness and other symptoms of dehydration, despite having just drunk water. Quite the paradox, isn't it? But that's not all. Drinking water while standing can also potentially lead to long-term issues such as arthritis and even kidney damage. This is because the water, moving at a high speed due to the standing position, ends up splashing against the lower stomach wall, causing damage over time. So, the next time you feel the urge to gulp down a glass of water while standing, take a moment. Find a seat, sit down, and let your body absorb the water at its own pace. It's a simple change but one that could have a profound impact on your health in the long run. Now that we know the importance of sitting while drinking water, let's move on to the next common mistake. Our second mistake is gulping water quickly. Now, it might seem counterintuitive but drinking water isn't a race, folks. Gulping down water quickly is another common pitfall that many of us fall into. It's easy to do, especially when we're parched or trying to meet our daily hydration goals. But it's important to understand that this practice can have several negative consequences. Firstly, drinking water too quickly may increase the risk of choking. This is because the liquid can enter the windpipe instead of the esophagus, causing a choking hazard. It's a simple matter of physics really. When we gulp, the water rushes in, and our body's natural reflexes may not have enough time to direct the water down the right pipe. Secondly, when you drink water too quickly, the body doesn't have sufficient time to absorb it properly. This can lead to what's known as water intoxication, a rare but potentially dangerous condition where water levels in the body are too high, diluting the electrolytes in your blood. This can lead to nausea, seizures, and in severe cases, even coma or death. A study published in the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology supports this, indicating that the body can only process about half a liter of water per hour. Any more than that, and you run the risk of overhydration, which as we've discussed can be harmful. Lastly, gulping water quickly could also mean you're not taking the time to enjoy it. Drinking water slowly and in a relaxed manner can be a calming, mindful practice. It gives you a moment to pause, refresh and savor the experience. Plus, it's a great way to ensure that your body gets the hydration it needs in a healthy, balanced way. So, the next time you feel the urge to chug that water bottle, remember this. Slow and steady wins the race. Your body will thank you for it. Remember to slow down and savor each sip for optimal health. Now, on to our third common mistake. The third mistake is drinking water just before meals. That's right, folks. It's not about whether you're drinking water, but when you're drinking it, that can cause a bit of a hiccup in your health journey. Let's dive into the science behind this. You see, our stomach is a fascinating organ. It's the first stop for food in the digestive process, where it's bathed in stomach acid or gastric acid. This acid is potent stuff, with a pH level that hovers around 2, that's comparable to the acidity of lemon juice. This potent acid is crucial for breaking down food particles, particularly proteins, into a form that can be absorbed by your body. But here's the twist. When you drink water just before eating, 
it can dilute this powerful gastric acid. Just like adding water to lemon juice, the potency decreases. The diluted acid is less effective at breaking down food, which can lead to indigestion and other digestive issues. Furthermore, when water is consumed before meals it fills up a portion of the stomach. This can trick your brain into thinking you're full before you've consumed enough nutrients. This might sound like a great weight loss strategy but it's not. Your body needs a certain amount of nutrients to function optimally. If you're constantly tricking your body into thinking it's full, you may not get the nutrients you need. Now this isn't to say that drinking water with meals is a no-go, it's all about balance. A small sip to help swallow food? Go for it. A full glass that leaves no room for food? Maybe not the best idea. Remember, water is essential for life but like everything else it's all about moderation and timing. Timing is everything when it comes to drinking water and eating. Now let's explore our final common mistake. Our final mistake is adding artificial sweeteners to water. It's a common belief that artificial sweeteners are a healthy substitute for sugar. After all, they promise the sweetness without the calories. However, research paints a different picture. Studies have shown artificial sweeteners can actually lead to weight gain and an increased risk of type 2 diabetes. Surprised? Let's delve into the science behind it. When you consume something sweet, be it sugar or an artificial sweetener, your body anticipates calories. When those calories don't arrive, as is the case with artificial sweeteners, your body gets confused. This confusion can lead to overeating, as your body tries to make up for the missing calories over time, this can result in weight gain. Additionally, artificial sweeteners have been linked to an increased risk of type 2 diabetes. A study published in the Journal of the American Geriatric Society, discovered that diet soda consumers, who typically use artificial sweeteners, had almost tripled waist circumference over nine years compared to non-consumers. But what about hydration? After all, we're talking about adding these sweeteners to water. Well, research shows that artificially sweetened beverages can actually cause dehydration. The sweet taste can lead to increased thirst, causing you to drink more and more. But without the necessary electrolytes, your body can't properly absorb the water. It's a vicious cycle that leaves you feeling perpetually parched. Now this doesn't mean you have to resign yourself to a life of bland, tasteless water. There are natural alternatives that can add a dash of flavor without the harmful effects. Consider adding a slice of lemon or a sprig of mint to your water. Not only will these give your water a refreshing twist but they also offer additional health benefits. The next time you reach for a sweetener, consider a natural alternative like lemon or mint. There you have it, 4 common mistakes to avoid while drinking water. Let's quickly recap. First. Aim to drink water while seated, not standing, to ensure optimal absorption and digestion. Second, don't rush. Take your time and sip your water slowly. This helps your body hydrate more effectively. Third, avoid drinking large amounts of water just before meals. It's better to maintain a balanced stomach composition for optimal digestion. Lastly, try to avoid adding artificial sweeteners to your water. Instead, opt for natural flavors like lemon or mint that offer added health benefits. Remember, proper hydration is crucial for our overall health. It aids in digestion, keeps our skin glowing, and helps our body function at its best. So, the next time you reach for that glass of water, keep these points in mind. If you found this video useful, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to check out our calorie and protein calculator in the description below to kickstart and track your fitness journey. And before you go, thank you so much for watching our video and please make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you want to give up alcohol, watch the video on your screen next. Stay hydrated and stay healthy.